This is a video guide to using the calculations field within forms in iScout. Forms can make simple calculations like multiplying quantity by price to calculate a total cost. Or you can use the value of one or more fields as variables in formulas related to probability or statistics. For this video, I'll stick to a simpler example. But for all of you formula gurus out there, you can find a complete list of available formulas at help.iscout.com. Calculation is a field option in the forms editor, and it relies on numbers, variables, and functions. To see how calculations work, let's go to the forms tab, and we'll edit the daily cost report. I currently have fields for number of workers, labor costs, and equipment rental. I can use the calculation field to automatically tabulate my costs when these fields are completed. Within forms, the field types you can use as variables in your calculation are text fields, counter fields, date and time fields, and calculation fields. Say we want to use the number of workers and the labor day rate fields to calculate a total labor cost. We first need to turn these fields into variables. To make a field a variable for our calculation, Edit the field settings and simply assign a variable a name, like workers. Note that the variable name must begin with a letter, and it may only include letters, numbers, and underscores. So click Done, and then we can edit the day rate. I can assign a variable name like labor rate. I now have two fields as variables I can use in a calculation field. To add a calculation field to this form, I can either select New Field, or I can select Add Field Below. I select the Calculation Field option, and I give it a title. If I click Edit on my Calculation field and go to the Settings tab, I see the variables we created from the other fields, as well as a formula text box for the calculation. I'm wanting to calculate our total labor costs here, so I can add the variables of workers, and multiply that by our labor rate. Notice the form field is red, but turns green when a correct function is entered. Then I can choose the number of decimals I want included in my calculation. So I'll set it at two. Calculation fields can also be used in the visibility settings of other fields in your form. For example, you might want a manager's signature line to appear if a calculation field exceeds a certain value. Once your settings are ready, just click Done to save. Now I can see the calculation field for the labor subtotal as well as the formula for the field. Now I can do the same for calculating a total cost for rental equipment on this job. I edit the fields for number of forklifts and rental day rate to make them variables. Then I can add a calculation field We'll call it rental subtotal. And multiply the number of forklifts by the rental day rate. So now I have two calculation fields showing costs related to labor and equipment rental. But I also want to include a total cost for this form. In order to do that, I need to assign variable names to the calculation fields. Now I can add a calculation field titled Total Cost. I go to the Settings tab and add my labor cost to the rental cost. Now that I have all the calculations that I want for this form, I select Done and Save to close the editor. Now let's see how the calculations in our form turned out. I can adjust the number of workers. I can include a day rate for those employees. Uh, I'm going to enter a number of forklifts, a day rate for the rental on those, and I can see my labor and rental subtotals as well as my total cost. Now, that's a fairly simple example, but calculations can use more complicated formulas as well. Again, for a complete list of possible formulas, visit help.iscout.com. When analyzing the response data related to forms with calculations, you have the ability to filter by calculation, 
and you can sort the results by calculations as well. For more information about calculation fields or any other iScout feature, visit help.iscout.com or send us an email to help at iscout.com.